Hey guys, I'm Veronica Hill and today I'm doing a collaboration with my friend Beth over at Cooking and Crafting and we are going to talk about what to pack for the beach. So I'm going to talk about some of the things I bring to the beach here in California and Beth's going to tell you what to pack for Hawaii. Okay, so the first thing I always bring is a big large straw tote or beach bag so I can keep all my stuff in there. I also bring a large red umbrella that's pretty lightweight that I can put in the sand and get some shade. You should always bring a hat to protect your head from the sun. Sometimes I will bring two pairs of shoes. I always bring a pair of flip-flops like these Javianas. And then if I'm gonna be going in the tide pools or that sort of thing, I'll bring some water shoes. Of course, I always bring along a beach towel and if I'm going to be paddle boarding or kayaking, or snorkeling, I'll bring along a GoPro. Okay, these are just a few of the sunscreens that I use. First of all, I use the Panama Jack. It has an SPF of 45 for my lip balm, and it's really moisturizing and it works really well. For an all-over sunscreen, I go between the Hawaiian Tropic and the Neutrogena Beach Defense. If I'm going to be getting in the water a lot and being in the sun a lot, I use the Beach Defense, which has the SPF of 70. I also like the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration because it's really moisturizing and it has that SPF of 30. And finally, you should always have something on your face and this Copper Tone Sport Faces works really well. Okay, I usually like to bring a few snacks with me to the beach and I like using this little Mon Bento Bento Box. It's great for putting in like trail mix, maybe some hummus and baby bell peppers, a salad, pretty much whatever you wanna put in there. There's about three different compartments and they also have little uh, salad dressing cups that you can use as well. Next up is my big 40 ounce hydro flask. I'll either keep some cold water in here or I will bring some tropical Hawaiian iced tea and this will usually last me a full day at the beach. Okay, another one of my beach essentials is this Nook, and it's the Simple Touch. And what's great about these, unlike the iPad, is of course you can read in bright sunlight. For entertainment and just pure necessity, I always bring my phone and some headphones for listening to music and a power bank charger, so if my phone goes dead, I can get another second charge on that. This is my little Panasonic Lumix LX7. It's a great little compact camera, and what I like is it shoots really great video. And just a few last things. Uh, I always bring my wallet, of course, with my money and credit cards if I wanna go grab a bite to eat. Sanitizing wipes for when I wanna have a snack and I have sand all over my hands. Sunglasses, of course, and baby powder. It's a great way of getting all that sticky sand off of you before you get in the car. And finally, this is my beach chair. It's a Picnic Time brand, which I really like. It has the little side table that comes out, and it has a lot of nice compartments on the side, including an insulated pouch for water, place for your cell phone, all different kinds of stuff, and it comes with a carrying strap. So it's easy to tote along to the beach. All right, well, those are just some of the things I bring to the beach here in California. Be sure to drop us a line in the comments below and let us know what you bring to the beach. And don't forget to go check out Beth's channel to see what you should bring to the beach in Hawaii. Thanks for watching.